Welcome to Sparks of History, where Jewish history and world history meet. Today, we are extremely pleased to have with us acclaimed journalist and author, David De Jong. Mr. De Jong has covered European banking and finance from Amsterdam for Bloomberg News. His investigative work has also appeared in the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg Business Week, and the Dutch Financial Daily. And today, we will be discussing groundbreaking release expose, Nazi billionaires, the dark history of Germany's wealthiest dynasties. Uh, the book has received many, many accolades. New York Times bestselling authors have praised it as lucid and damning, eloquent, thorough, and profound. And the Wall Street Journal has called it a meticulously researched book. And uh, urge all our viewers and listeners as I did, simply to go on to Amazon, click a button, free shipping to almost everywhere in the world. And it, it's really, as you can see, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a thick book, but it is a page turner and you open it and before you know it, you're, you're finished with it. Um, again, Mr. DeJong, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Ari, it's a pleasure. And please call me uh, David. David, okay. Um, a little bit about your background and how you became interested in the Nazi billionaires. So I was working as as an as a um, reporter on an investigative team for Bloomberg News in New York, which covered non non listed, non stock exchange listed family owned companies, and I was hired out of graduate school in New York to uh, cover. It was a newly established team. Um, to cover North America uh, as one of the reporters covering North America. But I was soon asked, because I'm originally from the Netherlands, from Amsterdam, where I was born and raised, to cover the German-speaking uh, countries. Um, Germany, Switzerland, Austria. So I would go, I would be sent from New York, I would go one month a year, uh, mainly between Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, to Bloomberg's German speaking, or to, to Bloomberg's bureaus in German speaking countries. And the stories I always came back with were, you know, these mix of the financial and the business and the historical. But what struck me during my reporting there was this, you know, brazen whitewashing of history by, you know, world famous brands or, and, you know, consu globally consumer facing brands like particularly BMW and Porsche, who, you know, maintained global charitable foundations, media prizes, museums, corporate headquarters, academic chairs, in names of of their of their fathers, in names of their um in names of the patriarchs, the business patriarchs who had gone gone on to become incredibly successful in business. But had you know also committed war crimes uh, during World War II and 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 during during the Third Reich and I thought that was and and, it, and that that history they completely glossed over they didn't mention it anywhere you know even perversely so that you have the BMW Foundation Herbert Quant which has a motto inspire responsible leadership in the name of Herbert Quant who you know built concentration camps oversaw the building of of uh, you know of um, oversaw the had the responsibility over thousands of forced enslaved laborers including female concentration camp captives acquired companies stolen from Jews in France and you know that was really for me the impetus to to shine a light on this subject 